Greetings, tech enthusiasts! It's your buddy Builder King, back again with another awe-inspiring tutorial. Our mission today is to replicate the OpenAI side menu items, complete with hover, select, edit, and delete functionality. But wait, we're not stopping there. We're also adding some juicy extras to make it usable for a full page and adaptable to any app. Whether it's for menu items or an entire page, this concept has you covered. When you select more than one item, the item-specific buttons vanish, replaced by a universal delete option at the top. You can seamlessly integrate this into any app, from fitness apps to to-do apps, or any list that requires deletion, editing, and an approval process. Our goal? To offer an exhilarating user experience while also ensuring they don't accidentally delete or edit something. We achieve this through a simple approval process. Now, let's venture into our Flutterflow project and break down the magic. Just a quick reminder, don't worry, you'll find the public project URL at the end of the video. So stick around. Let's take a look at what we have. The entire project consists of a single page and one component. The page contains a header with options such as adding an item, deleting, and either approving or closing the approval process. Below the header, we have a list that represents the items on this page. I use the list of strings in the app state to keep track of my items, but feel free to utilize any type of list that fits your needs. Here's a quick rundown of my app state variables. Items stores the items. Whenever the add button is clicked, a new item is added here. Selected items keeps track of selected items. Confirm state manages the options on a page level. This kicks in when a user selects several items for deletion and then needs to either approve or cancel. Now, let's get to the juicy part. In my list, I generated items from the app state and used my menu item component to manage each item. Let's dig a bit deeper into the main component, the heart of the menu. It comprises different states. Hover state, triggered when the mouse hovers over an item. Selected state, triggered when we select an item. Edit state, triggered when we hit the edit button after selecting an item. Delete state, triggered when we hit the delete button after selecting an item. These states are managed in the following way. The hover state is handled by the mouse region widget. The rest are handled by a component state variable. I also have another variable to animate the text during the approval of an edit. Let's dissect our widget tree. The item is enclosed within a mouse region widget to achieve the hover effect. Then, we have a menu container with an action to select and deselect the item. Depending on whether the item is selected, we either deselect it or add it to the app state selected item list. Our menu item icon has three icons in one stack, each representing a state. These icons are set with visibility rules linked to the component state variables. Next are our texts. This is where it gets a bit tricky, as we have three different texts. A text widget to show the item text under normal circumstances. A text field widget that appears when we're in the edit state to allow the user to edit the item text and approve the changes. The animated text widget that creates a cool typewriter effect when the user approves the edited text. Don't worry about missing the fine details, you can always check the source project. The animations are achieved using a custom widget and a package both of which have been set up with the necessary parameters for you to use directly. Next come the options, display based on the item state. When an item is selected, we show the edit and delete buttons. If the user selects the delete or edit buttons, we switch to that state and display the approval or cancel button. The close button always resets the component state to the normal state, while the approve button behaves differently based on whether we're in delete or edit state. At the end, I have two containers with animation effects. One flashes white to signify the editing process, while the other flashes red to signify the deletion process. And voila! That's how it all comes together. We can add items, select one or multiple items, delete them all together, edit items individually, and much more. The goal here is for you to realize that with a bit of effort, you can create anything in Flutterflow. It doesn't matter if it's a multi-million dollar company or a startup, with Flutterflow, you have everything you need. Here's the project URL and project ID. Feel free to use them to check out the public project and clone it to make it your own. We'll be adding a fancy version of this to the marketplace soon. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We've got some surprises lined up for our subscribers. Keep up the great work, builders! Remember to always build like a king!